Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are taking a look at an update to the game. Now this isn't a big update, it's in another major increment. No, 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 this is just the long-awaited and glorious NASA update. Now if you uh, have been paying attention to any news on the game, you probably have seen that, let's actually just delete this one real quick, I was testing some things, that they uh, were working on an update in conjunction with NASA. And, well, it is wonderful. So if we just start up a new quick test save so that we can see some of the new objects, you can actually see the NASA flag here, which you'll notice that the background on the NASA flag and the Kerbal Space Program uh, flag are see-through, and that that is going to come into play here in a little bit, so if we just select my Kotobos flag and accept, start, and be taken to our typical view of the Kerbal Space Center with one glaring addition. You now have control of time in here, and that that is wonderful. So now it isn't just defaulted to 1x time acceleration, you can in fact change it to all the way up to your whatever this is that's oh my oh oh and things have now changed I probably shouldn't have done that uh, because I wanted to show you in here real quick into the tracking station now you'll notice up here we have some new things space objects and unknown and the unknown is the big cool thing for this episode as if we zoom out and try to find one Ah, there we are, an unknown object, last seen two days, five hours and 56 minutes ago, it is a Class C medium size, what's this one, another Class C medium, oh, we have one there, another Class C medium, just popped up 18 seconds ago, let's actually click that one, because it is quite close, and these are those glorious new asteroids that they have now added officially into the game. You'll remember a little while ago we did the FASA asteroid mod and it was quite fun, but this officially adds support for them into the game and in a variety of sizes and you have to find them. As, you, or as we just looked at here, we have the unknown and what you can do once you click on an unknown is we have this new button down here and once you click on one that button lights up and that tracks the object. And now we have a different picture here. It is now also registered as a space object that we are actively tracking rather than just letting it sit in space because these aren't tracked until you actually physically track them. Ooh, that is a class D large size. Awesome. And it'll show the orbital path when it will rendezvous with the planet and so forth. It is quite, quite cool. And if we, let's uh, track a few of these, uh, track that one, that one, that one, and that one, and just sort of let time accelerate for a little bit. Let's go. You'll see they move in their own pass. We get more popping up. We got another one here, another Class C. Track that, baby. Oh, oh my, we've got them popping up all over the place. We got a new one there, 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 and uh, was that a new one right there? Oh, no, right here. <laughs> oh my, another one has popped up quite close to us as well. Multiples, in fact. They're, they're just everywhere, and all of these you can go to now in the game, and they get their own little designation, and... It's just, it's, it's just quite cool. I, I do like this whole new aspect of actually having to find an unknown thing and then track it and then, well, eventually send your ships off to it. So, oh my, look at all of those now. We got new ones popping up here, over here. It's, it's glorious. And if we actually speed up time a bit, you'll see that they do, in fact, interact with the planet itself. Of course, they'll get caught by gravity and then uh, shot off into space. So if we just speed up time to the max and watch as all of these asteroids just sort of putter about. Oh, one's been caught by our gravitational field, flung off, and oh, oh, we actually, we appear to have some new moons. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, this is probably, I think, my favorite part about this. My word, look at those. Looks like that one may not survive. Or, yeah, it looks like it's going to be going into the planet soon. Uh, the other one looks like it is also going to crash into the planet. So, you know what? I'm going to speed back up time and watch what happens to them. Now, there are some finicky... Oh, there we go. That one's gone. And so is that one. This one, though, seems to have been caught in actually a stable orbit. That is impressive. Oh, it might... It might escape Kerbin there. But yeah, that is cool. They'll get into orbit. Some will crash into the planet. Others will just fling back off into space. But there is the possibility of being caught. Now, this one... Yeah, it does look like it is going to be escaping. Oh, we've caught another. And there are some finicky things about these asteroids. As you just saw, they did crash into the planet and they no longer exist, just like a ship would. Uh, but uh, some people have tested online, I've seen pictures of it on Reddit, that the asteroids themselves cannot collide with one another. They simply pass through each other. So that is kind of screwy. Uh, you also have people who have landed the asteroids on Kerbin. And uh, even if they do hit Kerbin at full velocity, they don't actually explode. They simply crash into the ground and go clunk. Uh, no fun, fiery explosion. Wow, that one actually, I think... Oh, nope, nope, it's gone, it's gone. It was not in an orbit. <laughs> and we got new ones popping up all the time. I love it. But let's head back. And, of course, one of the parts about this mod is you're supposed to go and visit these asteroids. And to do that... We have a lot of fun new kit in here as well. So if we go to propulsion first, unfortunately, no new pods have been added. But, oh wait, I do want to show you this. There has been a small change to the pods. Now, you'll remember at the beginning of the episode, I told you to remember to, uh, you know, notice that the flags, some of them, had a bit to them that was see-through and that's because they are on your command capsule now so if we change the mission flag to say the NASA one it actually all that shows is the NASA logo and you'll be able to see the capsule behind it though that one you can not kinda see a rectangle the Kerbal Space Program one looks a lot better it blends in better with the capsule but I can still see a rectangular line here but yeah, that is cool. So you actually do have your flag on the capsules now. I, I like that addition, and it uh, seems to be on all the capsules. Ah, yes, there we go. We have the flag there. <laughs> it's it's quite a fun, cool little addition. But let's let's chuck you and bring you way up in the air because we're gonna need it when we look at propulsion. Now the first thing is this. Oh, it's beautiful. It is a gigantic super heavy booster. Now previously we had just the small little booster. Where'd it go? Why am I losing it? Ah yes, here we go. The original tiny little solid fuel booster. Then we got this large booster. And for size comparison, let's pop that there, that there. And then we have this baby. Oh my god. Just look at the size of this thing. It is a, well, a super heavy Solid rocket booster, and it is quite a powerful and cool booster. And then we have some more fuselage sections. And this one has, I believe, built into it. Yes, it's not just an engine, but it does have built in a liquid fuel and oxidizer. So that is a cool little thing there. You have the built in engines with it. We have this new advanced engine. It's gigantic because we do have a much larger size of fuselage in the game now uh, oh my word that thing is huge but it is beautiful just oh it's glorious we also have this new engine here which technically is four engines but I like it I like it and then new large size tanks to go along with them we got the full size then the half size and of course, the quarter size, you can just pop on one of those engines down there. So we have a nice, large, new set of fuel tanks and engines. Now, nothing new in control. Structural, 
Of course, since we have this new gigantic size, they need their own decouplers. And I love the description on this one. Originally designed to separate buildings that were stuck together. It has been repurposed for the separation of massive rockets. So we plop that there. And of course, an adapter to go back to this size here. And we get just these gigantic rockets that you can now make in Kerbal Space Program. It is, oh, it is absolutely beautiful. I, I do like this new size. It, it'll, it means that my design of a heavy launcher is now completely obsolete because, well, look at the size of this thing. This is clearly, clearly much heavier. Uh, nothing new in aerodynamics. Utility, on the other hand, we have two new objects. One is the advanced grabbing unit. Now, this is how you attach yourselves to asteroids. Uh, the asteroids themselves, you can't actually, like, dock to them like a ship. You have to use one of these grapples. And if we... Oh, can we not toggle it in here normally? Oh, that's saying toggle flag. That's odd. But yeah, it is a grappling unit, and you will use it to like a claw to just grab onto the asteroid and attach yourself uh, to the giant hunk of rock floating through space. Now the fun part about this, as some Redditors have found, uh, you can also use them to attach yourself to other ships. I've seen very amusing pictures of people, uh, instead of properly docking to larger fuel-laden ships, they'll just sort of clamp on multiple smaller ships to the larger mothership using this grappler rather than properly docking in it. It is highly amusing. We'll just throw that off though. And the other bit is this cool launch escape system. Now, if you're like me, you've probably designed some poor, poor rockets in your day. And one of the biggest issues, you'll frantically be pressing escape to try and release your capsule away for safety only to realize that, oh my, the engines down below are still burning, and it's pushing the capsule along with them. This is the hope to solve that. It is a launch escape system, and it is, as it says in the description, a solid t rocket tower designed to wrench the command pod up and away from a malfunctioning rocket. I can only imagine how many Kerbal lives could have been saved if I would have had this. But alas, I did not. But now, we do. And the, that pretty much sums up everything that's been added in the parts department. Uh, there has been no additional science, though I, I, I wish there would have been. It'd be cool if there was like a rock core or something like that. I think that would have been a cool addition for, you know, going to asteroids. But, oh well, c'est la vie. Let's actually exit out all of this because I could build a rocket with all these things, but you all know my uh, track record with rockets. It doesn't go well. So if we quit to actually go and take a look at the rockets, or not the rockets, rather, the uh, asteroids, we're going to go to scenarios. And with this NASA update, we get these two new scenarios right here. The first one is the orbital rendezvous. In this scenario, you, uh, you are in the Retriever A-1 spacecraft on a course to rendezvous with an orbiting asteroid. You are tasked with performing the rendezvous burn and then catch up to the asteroid as you approach the intersection of both orbits. And then we also have the Ready to Capture, which on this scenario, the Retriever A-2 spacecraft is only a few meters away from the asteroid. Ready to deploy its grappling device and attach itself. Can you maneuver it into a closed orbit around Kerbin's moon? Awesome. I like it. Because that is the fun part about these asteroids. You can grab onto them and move them to where you want. As I did say earlier, I've seen people who have landed them on the planet. I've seen people who have put them into orbit. I've seen people who have, using the grappler and then a docking point, uh, or docking port rather, on their ship, use them to dock to space stations and all sorts of things. And it's just glorious. Uh, and this, of, uh, this little scenario, you have to get it around the moon. And that is cool. And of course, if you want to read more about the whole uh, deal with NASA and uh, KSP, you can click this link and it will take you out to your web browser and, uh, yeah, tell you all about the redirect mission. But let's click start on this so we can get a up close view of an asteroid. Where is? Oh my, it's right there. And let's check the map to see what our 
path is. Oh my, we are. We are way out there. So yeah, that's why I want you to get it all the way to the moon. That is actually quite an impressive feat to do from this far out. But if we actually undo this grappler, so control the arm. That is the grappler arm I was trying to deploy in the uh, space center, but it wouldn't let me. I'm still not entirely sure why, but oh well. Oh well, let's... Sw oh, oh god, I just hit space bar. What released? <laughs> oh, I did not mean to hit space bar. I thought we were in docking and was going to use it to uh, change ourselves around. Let's turn off the SAS and try and actually maneuver this thing towards that asteroid. Oh, trying to get my bearings on this thing is odd. Let's control from here. There we go. Who do we have in this thing? Is no one in this? I don't see a cur- Oh, I'm- Is it- Hmm. Yeah, I don't see a Kerbal. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if something might be bugged because, hell, I- I did take out all of my other mods just for safety's sake, uh, except for my clouds mod, just to, uh, you know, hopefully make sure that everything would be in working order. Can we target center of mass? Oh my, oh my, look at that. That is intriguing. All right, let's... Oh, I'm still not entirely sure what I am aiming at here. And where exactly my focal point is for maneuvering with this RCS. Hmm, I'm generally not that great with RCS anyways, and now I'm trying to do it on a ship I did not design. Let's... Ooh, no, 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 there we go. Okay, so that's that. Oh, no, back that way. Turn the SAS on. Trying to get us going... Forward, there we go, that's forward. And we are... Angling that way. There we go. Oh my, this is... Oh, all of my axes are very, very strange. Oh, we're probably not going to get into this asteroid in, in actual fact. Oh my. I, I, I've never been very good at the RCS stuff. Oh, you think I would be after hours upon hours of play, but... Nope. I am much better when I have raster prop monitor and the camera mods, but I do not have that on at the moment. So let's go with Chase. That, I think, should actually get us into... Oh, yes, that's that's much better. I, I like that view. That is good. So let's just aim ourselves right at this baby. And turn back on the SES. And move ourselves forward. I'm hoping this does look like it is getting us closer. Come on, you slow R RCS fool. Alright, let's go back out to the moon. Oh my, look at, look at that. That's, that's interesting. What are those n descending nodes even measuring with our location that we're at at the moment? Hmm. Those look like we are getting closer. But my, it is kind of hard to tell. Let's just get ourselves over this way. Oh yeah, we're getting close now. And I of course apologize to anyone who is watching who is actually good at this game. <laughs> so I... I am not. But I enjoy it all the same. Because it is a glorious, glorious game. Alright, we are coming in kind of fast. Let's slow down. And... Oh my.
we are going to pass it. <laughs> oh, I thought we were better angled on this thing. But we can fix that. By angling. And... Hold on. <laughs> I'll get this eventually. At least we are facing towards the sun, so we don't have to worry about power. Oh, I really need to turn more. There we go. That should be good. We have drifted further apart. So let's do this. Angle down a bit more. Go forward. <laughs> hmm. Angle. That SAS keeps wanting to tilt me up. Angle ourselves a bit more here, and let's... We should be grappling, hopefully. I haven't actually successfully done this yet. So hopefully it works. Come on. Oh, come on. Why, why didn't that grapple? I was hoping that that would have. Just angle down. What are my resources at? We've still got plenty of monopropellant, so that's not a problem. Come on. Move forward. I am wondering exactly how dead on you've got to get with this thing. Grab. Oh, there we go! We actually have it! Excellent! And we are now a part of this asteroid, or rather, it is a part of us. It is all one solid craft now, just like a space station or anything else. Except now we are attached to an asteroid that is slowly rolling out of control. Lovely. And somehow, you're supposed to get this thing around the moon. Oh my, where is that even? Oh, that... That, well, let's just set the target as Kerbin. Yeah, that ain't happening with me. <laughs> Certainly not on this episode. But I, I am happy that we successfully attached to this. Uh, now, that I, now that I know that that arm actually works. I haven't actually done that yet. So I, I'm happy that it did function. Now I'm wondering, what does this free pivot mean? Oh, so the, oh, the arm pivots and if we... It's now free, but we can lock it in place so that it doesn't move around. Okay, that makes sense. Though the whole thing is spinning thanks to the asteroid being much, much heavier than us. Oh, we can rename the asteroid once we attach to it as well. So you can rename it, get it into a proper orbit, and, you know, start mining. Hopefully, <laughs> other mods will take advantage of these asteroids and add all sorts of cool things. I, I bet you Keithane will probably add something to asteroids pretty quickly for any of you who do use the Keithane mod pack. Uh, so yeah, I can't wait to see what all the modding community does once they get their hands on all this asteroid stuff. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode and that you enjoyed the new NASA update for Kerbal Space Program. It is... it is wonderful. I love the fact that you now have objects floating around in space at random and interacting with other orbits in the solar system. It is cool. And you have to find them, track them, then come over here, attach to them, and you can mess around with them yourself. And it's just... it's just wonderful. I, I hope you guys enjoy this update as much as I am. And for those of you who are much better pilots than me, Oh, I cannot wait to see what kind of pictures you people take when you attach these asteroids to all sorts of other stuff. Oh, but yeah, I hope you uh, have enjoyed this little look at this NASA update, and of course that you come back for whatever episode I do next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. Oh, let's just take that off and look at it in all, all of its glory. All of its beautiful glory. Later, guys.